Hello everyone and welcome back. How was your last week? I rather had a choppy start of the week, but then what is life without turmoil? Karthik has left for another city for some work requirements and so my responsibility with kids have increased. So I am trying to set some routines for myself and kids to be able to meet all my responsibilities in the best way. Kids are taking their afternoon nap and so I took some time out to fix some broken items and these fridge magnets as they make very good memories of the places we have visited together. These small tasks are always brushed under the carpet so evolving them in our part of routine not only saves some money but also helps avoid any last minute rush. Karthik likes collecting magnets from different places for keepsake and looking at them really helps us relive those great travel memories. It's 4 p.m. and kids will wake up anytime soon, so I thought of keeping some snacks ready for them as after snacks it will be the park time. I bought this corn thinking that I would eat it with some spices during rains, but whenever it rained, I was busy picking clothes from the stand. <laughs> At times, homemakers' perspective of enjoying the rain is not as easy as it looks, isn't it? But I'll still try to revive it and make corn cheese sandwiches today. This is the quickest way to take the kernels out and with less time in hand, finding such quick tricks really works like wonder. I'll just put the kernels in the boiling water and in the meantime, I'll chop onion and capsicum. Wow, how perfectly the corns are done. And now I'll quickly strain them and chop them fine. Sandwiches are very quick to make breakfast or snacks option and so I keep trying new fillings to increase the choices for myself and kids. In a bowl I'll mix chopped onion, capsicum and corns. For the seasoning I'll add some salt, pepper, mayonnaise a few drops of chili sauce, some cheese spread and mix everything together. I'll also add some Italian seasoning and chili flakes to enhance the flavor of this filling. Mix 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 and very delicious sandwich filling is ready. I found this very amazing bakery near my house and I'm obsessed with its item these days. This freshly baked bread is from there only. I'll layer the sandwich with some butter for a nice brown coating and toast the sandwiches on a grill pan. Before kids wake up, I'll also make my evening tea to energize myself for the evening. So I prepare my tea alongside while the sandwiches are toasting. Well, to be true, tea for me is not just a drink, but it's a reason to feel fulfilled. The tea time slows me down momentarily to relax and reflect. While sipping my tea, I can really feel that I got some me time and then there are no complaints left. As much as I would like to have a company during my tea time, but either way, this 10 minutes of peace time morning and evening is very precious to me. Sandwiches turned out really delicious and I would highly recommend that you guys try it too. Ruthvi usually wakes up early and having a snack ready avoids that last minute rush that I always try to escape. I like the fact that with the help of such small munchies in the day, we can really give kids more nutrition in different forms and shapes than just three fulfilling meals. I also wake Dhare up and serve him with banana to begin with and as he's growing, I also try to give him the taste of whatever I cook without forcing him to eat because the last thing I would want is to scare him with the force feeding. Before leaving for park, I give 15 to 20 minutes for Ruthvi's homework or studies. I am not a fussy mom when it comes to studies. However, I wasn't like that initially as I used to get influenced and compare a lot. 
but it didn't take me much time to realize that every kid evolves at a different pace i feel at this age instead of pressurizing too much into her studies i should rather focus on giving her exposure to new things providing her some age appropriate life skills and giving her a practical perspective of life however parenting comes with no rule book and so trying testing and learning from experiences is what excel this art Evenings are my super active hours of the day when I take kids out to the park. So getting myself into smart and comfortable active wear gives me an instant kick to get going. These active wear garments from Bliss Club are my latest favorite clothing for numerous reasons. As a mother of two, my hands are literally hands full. So with the multiple open and hidden pockets in the Bliss Club leggings, it shares some load off me. and keeps my hands absolutely free made out of soft fabric and curved sculpting seam these leggings bear my everyday squatting stretches turning and twisting just like a second skin but the best feature is the super high waist which keeps my tummy tucked in and covered no matter how much bending and lifting i do with my younger one so with bliss club i feel ready not just for the park but for any event of the day once we are back from the park i'll quickly chop some fruits to munch since cooking dinner takes some time this ready to serve snack helps me to hold kids hunger for a little while i try to make a mix of whatever fruits are available to make a quick fruit chart along with some cut fruits i'll also make some fresh mosami juice for kids to cool down into the fruits i'll add a bit of pink salt and a dash of lime right before serving it these days it's quite hot and humid and so after sweating it out in the park and cooling down a bit kids and i freshen up for the rest of the evening kids get some tv time and i start preparing for dinner while managing kids myself I feel keeping food ready 30 minutes in advance is much better than managing the hunger chaos at the last minute. Today I decided to make a quick version of mutter paneer. To begin with I'll make the puree of onion and garlic first and then in the same mixing jar I'll blend tomatoes and ginger for another puree. Keeping paneer dipped in water helps in keeping it fresh for many days and I'll give paneer a quick rinse and cut it into bite-sized chunks. Since it's mutter paneer, I'll saute the paneer in some oil till it gets a golden brown coating. And for flavor, I'll only add salt and some pepper on top. Once the paneer is done, I'll take it out on the plate and in the same kadai I'll make the paneer masala. Starting by adding some jeera, I'll saute finely chopped onion along with the prepared onion garlic paste into the kadai and cook it till it turns golden brown. Since I'm making it for kids, I'll keep the spices very minimum, but to satisfy my spice needs I'll make a roasted tomato chili chutney which gives a very umami flavor to the overall platter. On the burner I'll roast garlic pushed inside tomatoes and a big green chili till the skin gets charred. By this time the onion will saute well and now I'll add turmeric, garam masala, coriander powder, salt and mix everything well. Once the spices are roasted well, I'll add peas and little water and cook it covered. It takes 5 minutes for peas to get done. I'll add the prepared tomato ginger puree and again cook it covered. In a meanwhile, tomatoes and chilies are roasted well. and i'll take them out on a plate to cool down 
In the sabzi goes a little roasted besan and some water for gravy to thicken up. Once the chutney ingredients cool down, I'll peel the black skin off and mash the roasted veggies. If you like really hot and spicy, add the small green chilies and it gets super delicious. Chutney is ready and now I'll just add some salt, red chili powder and lots of freshly chopped coriander leaves to finish the chutney. By this time gravy is also done and into it I'll add the toasted paneer and mix everything well. Garnish with some kasuri methi and fresh coriander. Once Dhare is done with his dinner, I and Ruthvi enjoy a meal together. This quick to make chutney is actually the star of this plate today. And of course, some onion cucumber salad to finish the plating. Karthik's absence is felt most during the dinner time. But I am thankful to Ruthvi for giving me some company. Otherwise, Eating alone every time is not my thing. Ruthvi also tried the teeny tiny taste of chutney and liked it very much. Days when there are schools, I prepare Ruthvi's bag first thing after the dinner as it helps in confirming many things at the right time. A. If we finished all our homework or anything is pending, B. Collect items that need to go to school, and C. Involve Ruthvi and prepare her mind for the next day. Handling kids alone is surely a task, but I stick to my priorities, and that really helps me meet the ends. Getting a call from Karthik before the day ends is always the most exciting part for everyone. Thanks to technology for reducing these long distances a bit. And lastly, to call it a day, I'll read a story to both the kids. Ruthvi has started reading books slowly, so I feel this nighttime reading helps in building her interest in them. Books are the easiest way to expose kids with new things, and so I try my best to include this reading session in my daily evening routine. Kids sleep, and then I spend some time on myself and home. Thanks to routines, managing everything together gets a bit easier. Well, yes, days look a bit similar, but then it's a blessing when you genuinely want things to run smooth. I try to focus on things that matters to me the most, work best for my situation and requirements, and give me the solution to problems no matter how big or small they are. I hope this vlog was helpful to give you some idea on creating a routine. I hope with the help of a routine, you also find a pattern that works best for striking that right work-life balance. Let me know in the comments if you are also a routine person and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and also join me on Instagram for some daily life updates. Once again, thank you for watching the vlog and I'll see you in my next one. Until next time, stay tuned and stay connected.